Man, I actually kind of feel I like Mega Man might be the better option here. Stage variant. I would say it, it really depends on what stage we are going to be using. Uh, if it's something smaller, I think I would want to go ahead and opt for the Ridley, just mm -hmm. because the, the, the disjoints that he ends up having can actually cause a lot of trouble for Palutena, but if we're on a longer stage, I'm going to go with that Mega Man. Although, yes, Palutena does have the Reflector on her downbeat. Uh, it doesn't come up that quickly, yeah. and it, that's, there's some counterplay to that. You don't Mega Man doesn't have projectiles that you're going to want to always reflect back. Yeah. Because there's constant pellets. There's constant lemons coming at you. Or even when the, the Crash Bomber's coming onto you, you're not going to want to go and reflect that. It leaves you so wide open for Mega Man to follow right back up and punish you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think part of that, we are going to be seeing the Mega Man come out on Pokemon Stadium to such a long stage. And that's one of the benefits of having just a, a character that's able to handle small stages and one that specializes in uh, larger ones. So if I kind of... Great stuff right now. Leading it with a lot of these back airs, getting past the pellets that Fluff is trying to toss out. Explosive flame, finding the mark as well. And Fluff, you know, find himself a very early Devson. Death Arcana keeping all of it up. Is that Smash gonna connect? No. Yeah, barely misaligned right there, but I love the way Death Arcana is just handling neutral right now, as well as this advantage state. He's playing actually very defensively, um, partly just trying to get a sense of how Pub plays Mega Man, and al also because in order for uh, Pub to break through, it's going to force him to have to play aggressively and go in for grabs. That's going to then create openings for Death Arcana as the neutral develops. And already he's just showing and understanding what Mega Man can do. A lot of the pellets that Pub was tossing out, he, went, he just walked completely away, waited for the third one to come out when there's a little bit of lag, and just ran up in there to get a punish. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the use of the forward smash there. Actually covers a lot of space, and the fact that you can uh, mix up the charge, especially because you can charge smash attacks like up to like three seconds now, makes it very hard for the opponent to call out when it's actually going to be let go. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, what I have seen from a lot of Mega Man's is that they will just do the instant forward smash. Get that quick little burst, because it's not as slow as it was in Smash 4. That small little beam blast, mm -hmm. you know what? That's just enough. Not only am I getting damage, it will actually end up killing you at later percents. Oh, yeah. Oh, trying to catch a jump from ledge with that back air, but Death Arcana stays calm on the ledge. All right. Love down tilts in the opposite direction. Still going to get caught. It's a neutral air for his trouble. Forwarder, not quite enough to take that one away. And he's just trying to call out anything, and he does. Ends up getting the teleport call. I, I actually really love that... Uh Metal Blade in disadvantage because Death Arcana caught it when he nared into uh, Plup. That meant he couldn't nair again because he was holding the Metal Blade and it actually broke the combo that way. Alright, Plup evening this one up 35%. And there is the situations that I was talking about, G Pick. It's not all the time you want to toss out that reflector, but when it's something you know, a little too telegraphed like that with the Leaf Shield, I'm going to toss it out. And the fact that, it, that Reflect also doubles as a counter actually helps a lot. Uh, then you you won't get mixed up by a melee attack instead of a projectile. What? Th throwing the pellet right at Plup. So I, it looks like Palutena's Reflect does not extend the uh, the life of projectiles. Because a lot of Reflects do to make sure that the projectile will hit the person who initiated it. Yeah, sending the lead shield right back at Plup. Opting for a back throw. Uh, not trying to get any type of setups with the down throw or possibly even the up throw. But Plup putting up a good fight right now, mounting this comeback. Oh! Just gonna walk up with a, with a grab. Nothing too crazy like going for an up tilt. Yeah, they're kind of taking his time at the ledge. It's so scary just to see all these empty hops and just that little bit of extra disjoint on the up smash, catching Plup before he can grab the ledge. Plup, no. though, not gonna slow down for a moment, looking for these back airs, and he finds one off stage. Yeah. Look at this, G-Pick. We have an even game. Last stock for each of the players. Only 2% separating them now after that pellet. And Plub, the first one, able to go ahead and break the defenses. Got himself a forwarder, but really nothing else after it. Playing a lot of this, oh my goodness, so much damage. And guys, you've seen that already. Three pellets leading into the speed shield. So much damage. I love the way that Plub is moving in advantage because he, oh, he's he been jumping at Death Arcana and then at the last moment... Oh back. my goodness, he had the read on the teleport just barely off the mark for that up tilt. Mm -hmm. That's just something that Death Arcana is going to go ahead and have to be weary of moving forward. You are not just going to be able to go ahead and teleport onto stage for free. You're not even trying to use the platforms right now. Yeah. Seeing more forward airs come out by Death Arcana. He's trying to prevent himself from being whiff punished the way that Plub was doing earlier. That extra little bit of extension helping him out. 
But Flub still being able to find these grabs. Again, so much intimidation by Pup on this ledge. A lot of movement back and forth and calling out the exact moment that Death Arcana wanted to run in and just stuffing it with a forward air immediately. That's that's one thing that like does carry over from other platform fighters, just an understanding of like the psychology of movement, both in terms of like how you can intimidate somebody and sort of like the telltale signs of when they're feeling anxious enough to want to move back into mm -hmm. the center stage. And just the understanding is like across like all platform fighters. Uh, if you know your opponent is going to be moving at a moment, like that means you can hit them. They can't move and shield at the same time, and they can't throw up their shield in perfect reaction to what you're doing. Yeah, no, I mean, and in that last situation, and really, Plum just recognized, oh, you want to come back up with another neutral air? I think my forward is a little bit quicker. I'm just going to jump up here and go ahead and catch you, and that exactly was the case. And yeah. Forward air, a move that, you know, you didn't really see do too much in Smash 4, aside from just racking up some early percent combos, but this game, not only does it combo and allow you to go ahead and get that percent you're able to kill with the move the knockback on this move is just ridiculous as we saw in game one yeah the fact that Mega Man has both that back air and forward air being so disjointed and lethal helps out his neutral game tons we're gonna be going to battlefield like we mentioned earlier a very great stage for Palutena it gives her a lot of threatening uh, ability underneath these platforms it lets her extend her uh, nair trains all over the place up smash as well gonna be able to pressure all all sorts of places on the stage from the base floor. Yeah, but Pup is still continuing where he left off to an extent. Both the players quite even, like, through really how this set has been going. Uh, it just came down to Pup getting a couple of reads on that last stock in game one and just separated himself. Yeah. Just gonna try to punish that uh, misreflect with the Metal Blade. Yeah, they're kinda not taking too much punishment when he has been hit by Plup. Uh, still managing to return back to the stage relatively safe, but that air dodge almost uh, cost him a huge amount of life with that back air. Yeah, speaking of back airs, another one coming out from Plup. Hitting Death Arcana sends him off stage, and look at that, G-Pick, Death yeah. Arcana again. Teleporting onto the stage with Plup just barely off the mark on that up tilt. I honestly I feel like he could have just opted for an up smash instead to do the same effect, but hey, he wanted that big meaty hit. And speaking of meaty hits, he's gonna take that stock away regardless. Yeah. Great uh, awareness by Plup to just tech the falling neutral by Death Arcana. I like how Death Arcana though is, yeah, being very clever about the ways that he's trying to harass Plup off stage, either by intimidating him to use his resources early and catching him with one of these up smashes or an explosive flame, or just running off with an aerial of his own. It's so important to get every and little bit of mileage. Bomber. Oh my goodness. No, he ended up having an air dodger right there. Okay, okay. I was like, there was no explosion by the Crash Bomber during the air dodge. So that surprised me. But a Death Arcana is going to take that stock with, uh, I believe that was the up air. Um, Down throw. Ooh, but fantastic tech coming off from Club, recognizing where he was on the stage. Didn't have to go ahead and deal with the guaranteed damage that Palutena has usually out of his down throws. Uh, thought we were going to see a forward air possibly, but Death Arcana recognizing it, just backing off. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness, Club with all of these forward airs. Just wants to use that little disjoint that he has to keep up with Palutena, because right now Death Arcana is just opting for a lot of these neutral airs and the back airs. Yeah. Of course, Deathrakana is able to find his uh, his tricks to make it back on stage using the teleport cancels on these battlefield platforms. That's something that Plup has been like quasi covering. That was like part of the point of that up tilt earlier. I think was to also help cover that option. Oh, explosive flame, go ahead and catch him off stage. Not ready for the bottom hitbox of it. Deathrakana very much in control now. Uh, stage offering him so much both on offense and defense. But now going to be catching these. Uh, aerials with Plop with these snares and getting a full three hits and an offstage situation. Death Arcana looking to keep up the pressure as well. They're recognizing that like when he's able to smother Plop, he has so much less options where he can't rely on his projectiles. Yeah, right now Plop is looking like a gravy. Dipped and bit and dipped with a biscuit it is crazy. He is getting smothered all over the place. And, you know, he's trying to lead in with a lot of these voiders over and over, but unfortunately that is not going to be the case. This time around, he's able to go ahead and get that back air. Up tilt again, no, it's a little off the mark. It's just really misjudging how far that teleport really goes. And oh, oh. Abel just ran up, called out that spot dodger, just out of shield option. I'm not even sure what Death Arcana hit, but regardless, he's getting hit by these leaf shields. 
yeah, I mean, Flop being absolutely fearless with that. Still has the potential to bring this back right now. He gets himself up to 62%. This is, we're entering now up till death percent range again for Death Arcana. So if Pluff can call out another one of these shield drops or an early dodge, he can just take the set here. Death Arcana not looking to let that happen. Gonna go ahead and harass with these up airs, these explosive flames. Try to snuff out Pluff and force a game three. There we go, the back wow. throw does the trick. Just enough space for him to dash back very slightly, get that pivot grab, and mm -hmm. just eat him off of the stage. It didn't look like there was enough space for him to go for him to even do that. Yeah, no, but uh, Palutena actually does have a surprisingly long grab range. That really helps her out in setting up those situations. Yeah. All right, but great stuff right there. Coming out from Death Arcana, putting himself on the board, taking this to game three. And now we do have Club's counter pick. Literally, it's going to be Town and City. Wants that big stage to go ahead and try to work with. Wants to avoid those up airs or even dying for that back throw very early against Palutena. Yeah. yeah large lessons, like you said. Also, the fact that uh, the platforms are in a lot less convenient places for teleport cancels in terms of the stage control that it offers Death Arcana when he's in disadvantage. And a lot of times there just are no platforms for him to retreat to. Okay, yep. Get opening. that big damage right away. A quick 23. But you know what? You're going on the Nair plane. That's going to give me 26 instead. So, you know, GG. Yeah, but then I mean, you, you really cannot uh, understate the, the value of doing uh, the special cancels out of the pellets. And how much that just not, not just gives you in terms of raw damage, but safety. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it definitely helps out on shield a lot as well. It's because it can be very difficult for anyone to go ahead and try to hit you. Especially with the way that shields work here in Ultimate. You're going to most likely shield poke before you even break that shield. Mm -hmm. Right now, hoping to intimidate something here. Now that he knows that uh, Death Arcana has no options, but to kind of get off from the ledge honestly, gives a Club a lot more confidence in trying to read these getups. All right, Dash Tech sending Club in the air. One more for his trouble. Trying to lead him with that back air. He does right on shield, but Club will see the answer with the forwarder yet again. Death Arcana looking to cover that platform. Club notices, though, and holds back at the last moment. Yeah, and Death Arcana was getting a lot of mileage off of that up smash. You know, in the past couple of games, with Puff recognizing it, just backs off, does not want to approach him very early as he has been. Yeah. This platform layout, uh, it's, you know, reminiscent of Kalos, gives you a lot of protection when you're making your way back to the stage. And back throw, not enough. Almost Ooh. if that last hit had connected, but he still finds the forward air right afterwards after the shield pressure. Catching Darth are kind of trying to jump out, giving Puff the tiniest of early leads. All right, 14%, you know, quick little conversion off the down throw. And then now Club just setting up shop one more time, backing off, getting these pellets right on line. He has to find a way down. He ends up finding that up air instead from Death Arcana. Death Arcana had the right idea. He got the grab in my head, but he's facing the wrong direction. It's always unfortunate to see that sort of thing happen. Death Arcana, again, setting up another edge guard. Oh, I think he was just trying to react to whether or not Pub was going to land on the platform. And uh, Pub made that really ambiguous. Cool, great. You know, offstage play coming out from Pub, recovering with Rush, able to jump onto the platform, just using the platforms to get back onto the stage, but unfortunately falling right into that explosive flame and losing his own stock. Mm -hmm. Dithurkana finds himself actually offstage now against Pub. Forced to consider his getup again very carefully. That's been the one thing that Plup's been abusing so much on this stage, and he finds himself another kill as a result of it. The, the Metal Blade just occupying the space off of that C drop. Death Arcana was trying to come in there with an area of his own, but because it was there, he didn't want to extend into it, take that damage. Plup able to land back down and get all of that percent from it. Oh, yep. no. Too far off the air dodge, cannot make it back. Plup going to be taking this set with a two stock at the end 2-1 over death arcana yeah that directional that air dodge uh straight down trying to get away from the projectile pressure trying to just stop the bleeding on his stock so he can try to even it right back up unfortunately costing him his uh his stock and death arcana is going to be going down but at the same time like I, a part of me is kind of happy just to see like oh, well, players we, from other games. We, we got really see. dark. <laughs> oh yeah, every, everything got. Way I, I more saw dark. I saw the mood light come in. I was like, I wonder how this is gonna work for us. Oh, uh, pretty nicely, I'd say. Yeah, no, we're, we're still here. You just see all the lights in the background. It makes it makes a nice contrast. But <laughs> you know, I think I think we're now 
on our last set for our block, unless I'm mistaken. It feels, it feels, it feels poetic. It feels. No, I, I, see, I see some people still coming through. Okay, back we still and got forth. I think we're it's a little early. Okay, it's only, okay. only 11:25 G pick. Calm down. Oh, it is. Okay, wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but up next we have a familiar face returning to stream CPU.